going to learn about decision tree and the concept of ID3 algorithm by solving a very simple problem. Well, how a decision tree looks like. So if I have to form a decision tree of should I accept a new job offer, then it looks like this. Here, we can see the logic and how it is making the decision and it is very simple and clear. But what is a decision tree? Well, a decision tree is a tree where each node represents a feature or an attribute and each link represents a decision rule and each leaf node represents an outcome. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm. Now, for, now we have a couple of algorithms to form a decision tree. But here we will focus on ID3 algorithm that uses entropy function and information gain. So now let's see this problem. We have been given a data set and we have to make a decision tree that predicts whether tennis will be played on the day or not. Now let's, uh, let's observe the data set. Here we have five attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity, windy and play tennis. This play tennis is the class attribute that is the final outcome and its value depends on another four attributes. Now to make a decision tree, we have to first choose the root node. So how we will choose the root node? Well, the attribute that can best classify the tra training data, you can use this as the attribute of root node. But how to choose the best attribute? So from here, we will use ID3 algorithm. Well, ID3 algorithm has two important concepts that is entropy function and information gain. Entropy tells about the uncertainty in data set. What does that mean? It means the number of positive and number of negative example. In, for example, if we have equal number of positive and negative example, then the entropy will equal to zero. If we have only positive examples or only negative example, then the entropy will equal to zero. Now let's, next comes is information gain. So information gain is the difference in entropy before and after splitting the data set on attribute A. What does that mean? This is our data set. Initially, we will calculate the entropy for this entire data set. Next, we will calculate the entropy for this particular attribute outlook, then temperature, then humidity, then windy. Then we will sum up this. This is known as this average information. And this average information, we will subtract it from the entropy of the entire data set. So that is known as information gain. So like this, this is information gain and this is the entropy. Next that comes is ID3 algorithm concept. What does ID3 algorithm says? So the first step is compute the entropy for the entire data set. As I have told, you have to calculate the entropy for the entire data set. Now for each and every attribute, each and every attribute in the sense, this outlook, temperature, humidity, windy for each and every attribute. Now you have to calculate the entropy and then average information entropy. And then what you have to do? You have to calculate the gain and then pick the highest gain that will be your node. And we have to repeat this process until we get the tree. How we will know that we get the tree? That is the last node should be a leaf node. Okay. So now let's see the problem. This is the entire data set which we had. And the first step is calculate the number of positive examples and number of negative examples. So there are nine positive examples that is yes, 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 there are nine yes and five negative examples, five no's and the total is 14. So if you have to calculate the entropy, then just look into the formula how it was minus P upon P plus N where P represent positive and N represent negative. Make sure here the logarithmic function has base 2 and P upon P plus N that is a positive value, it's not a negative. Similarly, n upon p plus n log to n upon p plus n. Now substitute all the values that will be minus 9 upon 9 plus 5, 9 positive examples and 5 negative examples. You substitute all the values and the value you will get is 0 0.940. So this 0 0.940 is the entropy of entire data set. So that's why it is represented as entropy S. Next we have to do is we have to calculate entropy for each and every attribute. So first I am taking outlook. So Outlook has how many values? Sunny, rainy, overcast. Three different values we have. So we have split our data set according to those three values. So here when Outlook is equal to sunny, when Outlook is equal to rainy, when Outlook is equal to overcast. So like this we have now three separate tables. Now in these three separate tables we will see for sunny how many positive values are there. So for sunny we have two positive values. So write two. Now for negative, for negative examples how many values are there? Three. 
so we have three negative examples and then we will calculate the entropy how we will calculate the entropy by simply putting substituting the values in the formula similarly for rainy rainy how many positive values are there three so write three how many negative values two so entropy is 0.971 and similarly for overcast all the values are positive so four and zero now to calculate the entropy see this is the formula just substitute the values p value n value and you will get the respective answers now the next value next step was to calculate the average information entropy based on the previous formula for the attribute outlook this will be the formula that is pos positive examples of sunny plus negative examples of sunny upon p plus n here p plus n represents the number of positive examples and number of negative examples of the entire data set okay it's not about that particular it's not about this particular attribute we are talking but instead we are talking about this entire data set okay so here p of sunny plus n of sunny upon p plus n and entropy outlook is equal to sunny then outlook is equal to rainy so p of rainy plus n of rainy upon p plus n and then when outlook is equal to overcast then p of overcast plus n of overcast upon p plus n so what will be the value how many positive values of sunny are there so in sunny we have two positive values and how many negative value three so like this we will write three plus two divide by total number of positive value that is nine and total number of negative value is five and similarly what is the entropy of outlook is equals to sunny so that we have seen that is 0.971 so we will write 0.971 similarly when outlook is equals to rainy so how many rainies are there so for rainy we have three positive and two negative and the entropy is 0.971 so just write the exact same values over here and then for overcast so the value which we got is 0.693 now the next step that comes is you have to calculate gain and what is gain gain is equals to your total entropy minus whatever the information you have got so entropy of s is 0.940 that we have calculated in the first step so gain of outlook will be 0.940 minus 0.693 is equals to 0.247 make sure you try to solve the problem while watching the video itself so that you can have a better understanding of what we are doing over here now the next attribute which we have is temperature again the temperature has three values that is hot mild and cool so for hot we have uh, one table then for mild and then for cool again similarly what we will do for hot the number of positive examples are two the number of negative examples are two and then entropy will be one as i have said whenever the number of positive and number of negative examples are same then the entropy is equals to one similarly for mild we have four positive examples and two negative examples so the entropy is 0.918 and for similarly similarly for cool we have three positive examples and one negative example and the entropy is 0.811 you can calculate the entropy simply by substituting the values in the formula if you have any doubts then you can just comment down or you can just ask now the next step will be obviously to calculate the information entropy for this again the same thing how many values temperature can have hot mild and cool according to that p of hot plus n of hot upon p plus n then p of mild plus n of mild upon p plus n and p of cool plus n of cool divided by p plus n you can get the respective values from the table over here substitute all the values over here and then you will get the information as 0.911 now what was the next step next step was to calculate the gain so again gain is equals to entropy of s minus i of attribute how much the entropy was there 0.940 so what will be the gain gain will be 0.940 minus what was the value 0.911 is equals to 0.029 this is the gain of the temperature now what is the next attribute next attribute is humidity humidity has two value that is high and normal now again we will form a table according to normal and according to high then we will calculate the number of positive example over here is 3 negative of, number of negative example over here is 4 this is for high that is this table and similarly for normal there are 6 positive examples and one negative example so entropy over here is how much 0.591 now again you will calculate average information entropy and how you will calculate humidity is equals to high so number of positive high plus negative examples of high upon total p plus n and plus entropy humidity is equals to normal and positive norm positive normal plus negative normal divided by total p plus n substitute the respective values and you will get 0.788 and in this case the gain will be entropy minus i attribute as similar 0 0.940 minus 0.788 and the value will be 0.152 only now we are left with last attribute that is windy and in this windy we have again strong and weak so we will 
make the table with respect to strong and weak then we will see how many positive and negative examples are there and then we will calculate the entropy now after that again average information entropy so when d is equal to strong so positive strong plus negative strong divided by p plus n and again when d is equal to weak so positive weak plus negative weak upon p plus n and as you know p and n are the values from the original data set and this p weak and n weak are from this table so now again substitute the values and the answer will be here 0.892 and then again calculate the gain so gain will be 0.940 minus 0.892 that will be equals to 0.048 too much right so many four attributes are there and then you have to calculate so much and at last we will compare all the values that is here outlook 0.247 temperature 0.029 humidity 0.152 wind rate 0.048 and the highest value is outlook so we have to pick those well that value and this will be our root node so our root node is outlook so how our decision tree will look like now we have a root node as outlook and this outlook have three decision rules that is sunny overcast rainy but in in the overcast all the values are yes so you can directly make a leaf node over here and thus it doesn't require any further splitting but for sunny we have variable values like for some value it is yes for some it is no so still we cannot say that whether sunny will give yes or no so thus we have to do further splitting for sunny as well as rain so now we will form again new data set this will be with respect to sunny and this will be with respect to rainy we have to perform all the operations on sunny and then we have to perform all the operations on rainy i know it's too much but just a little bit and then it will be over so first of all we will take for sunny okay there is just a little mistake but okay the number of positive examples are how much 2 and number of negative examples are how many 3 so just total is 5 so now the p and value change before that it was 9 and 5 but for this now it we have 2 and 3 okay so now the entropy over here will be just substitute the values 2 upon 2 plus 3 and all the values and you will get entropy as 0.971 make sure you don't make the mistake here the p and n values are 2 and 3 this is like a new data set which you are going to solve well after that you have to calculate again for each and at every attribute so now we will take humidity but make sure you are taking only the sunny values why because first because now we are calculating for sunny okay so you cannot take values from overcast you have to take values from sunny itself So that's why when you are forming the table, make sure that you are taking outlook value as sunny, and then you are checking humidity, and then we will check plate anise. So here, the same method: humidity, high, normal, number of positive examples, how many positive examples? Only for high, that is zero, and negative examples are three. So three, and for normal, number of positive examples are two, and number of ne negative examples is there when high, when humidity is equal to normal. That is zero. So entropy will be zero. Again, you can calculate the average information entropy. Try to calculate it by yourself. Match your answer with the slides given over here. So information of humidity is equal to zero. Now you have to calculate the gain. So what was gain? According to previous formula, entropy minus I of humidity. So how much entropy we got? That was 0.971. And what is the humidity we got? Zero. So 0.971 minus zero. That will be 0.971. Similarly, we will calculate for windy. Now again, the outlook value should be sunny. Now, windy can have two values, strong and weak. So, according to that, strong, how many positive value one, how many negative value one, so entropy is one. And similarly, how many positive value for weak one and negative value two, so 0.918. Now, you will calculate average information entropy that will be equal to 0.951, and the gain that will be 0.020. That is 0.971 minus 0.951. That is equal to 0.020. Similarly, you will calculate for temperature. Make sure outlook value is equal to sunny. You have three values here: cool, hot, mild. According to that, you form this table, calculate the entropy, then calculate average information entropy, and then calculate gain. It will take a little time, but please make sure you pause the video and calculate all the values and make sure it is correct. And if you have any doubt, write it and write down in comment. Then you have to pick the highest gain attribute from these three values. For the temperature, we got 0.571. For humidity, we got 0.971. For windy, we got 0.02. So the highest value over here is humidity. So the next node in sunny, uh, that is after sunny, will be humidity. So it will look like this. We have first outlook, then we had sunny, then in the sunny, the next node which we have selected is humidity. Now see 
For normal, all the values are yes. So I can directly write yes over here. And for high, I have three values that is no. So I can directly like write no. So it is the pure leaves and we don't need any further expansions. But now the another no, another decision rule is remaining that is rainy. So it requires further splitting. Now again we have to repeat the entire process for rainy. So now this is the table for rainy. Again, the positive how many positive values are there? Three. How many negative values are there? Two. Total five. Again, you will calculate entropy. It's the same value here. It comes 0 0.971. Then you have to calculate at each attribute entropy. That is first of all for humidity. Make sure here the outlook value is rainy, not sunny. Rainy. Okay. Then calculate the humidity. Calculate the table. Number of positive positive examples are how much? For high, it is one. And again, for high, negative example is one. So write one one. Entropy will be one. For normal, for normal, the number of positive examples are how much? Two. Number of negative examples is how much? One. Thus, entropy is 0.918. Calculate the information. That will be how much? 0.951. Again, calculate gain. What will be the gain? 0.971. That is this entropy minus the information of humidity. So, 0.971 minus 0.951. That is 0 0.020. Similarly, calculate for windy. Again, outlook value should be rainy. So, for strong, no uh, no positive values, but two negative values. Entropy is zero. Similarly, three positive values, no negative values. Entropy is zero. Calculate the information for windy. Then calculate gain is equals to 0.971. Now for temperature, same process. Here we here we have only two values, cool and mild. There is no hot. So lucky you have to just do only two two values. You have to find only for two values. Calculate the entropies. Then calculate the information. Then calculate gain. And thus finally the biggest value that is the highest value is for windy. That is 0.971. So the next node in rainy will be what windy. So the final decision tree will look like something like this. We have outlook. In the outlook, we have three decision rules that is sunny, overcast, and rainy. For overcast, we can directly write yes, but for sunny, again you have to check for humidity. If the value is high, then it will be no. If it's the value of normal, then it is yes. And similarly for rainy, we will check another attribute windy. If windy is weak, then yes. If it is strong, then no. So this was all about decision tree and ID3 algorithm. In the next video, we are going to see how to implement the same in Python. So stay tuned with us. Do like, subscribe, share and comment. You can also write us at codewrestling at gmail.com. So happy learning. Thank you.